welcome to our next video in today's class as we are continuing the plant pathology and it is the last video of this fungi series I means here we will end the morphology characters or whatever we spores we have learned and today we will be dealing with the fruiting body concept the reproductive structures and in further plant pathology we will see the classifications and all by this video we will end the uh, basic concepts of the fungi now we shall begin the last video that is the on reproductive structures a reproductive structure is generally called as sporophores either it is simple or complex we call them as sporophores but when we go to higher fungi they the fruiting bodies are complex the spore bearing structures are complex and they we call them as fruiting bodies and that's the definition among them there will be two types simple and complex as i have said and they are spore bearing structures next we shall see we shall see the asexual fruiting bodies in the asexual fruiting bodies i hope you remember the asexual spores chlamydospores conidiospores and spangiospores among them the fruiting bodies are only for the conidiophores i mean conidiospore the conidiophore is the fruiting body is generally called as and among them they are grouped as uh, different form specialized structures that we shall see now and beginning with the cinema cinema is generally upright and upright conidiophore cinema is a upright conidiophores these cinema are compact or fused and these are uh, the spores are forming head like structures see this is the typical image of the cinema these are look like a, a upright one these are upright conidiophores and spores will be forming a head like structure here this is the cinema next comes the sporodichium and it is a superficial cushion shaped fruiting body and it is it consisting of a cluster of conidiophores you can see here this is a cushion shaped superficial uh, fruiting body and it is having a cluster of conidiophores this is the sporodichium now we shall see the next structure that is pycnidium see it is a globose or a flask shaped fruiting body which is lined on the inside with a conidiophores this is the image see it is a globose or flask shape it has a opening called as ostiole it's a thallus and these are the spores which are formed here and these are the hypha over which the spores are formed and these are the conidiophores which are lined inside the wall of this fruiting body and the wall of pycnidium is perithecium the wall is perithecium it is perithecium next comes the and uh, last structure in the asexual fruiting body that is the acervulus and remember this acervulus is very common in melanconiales in the fungi imperfecta dendromycetes and i will mention when i am explaining the classification and it is flat or saucer shaped mass of aggregated hypha bearing short conidiophores in a compact layers see this is these are the leaf tissues means host above which a mass of aggregated hypha is formed see this is a mass of aggregated hypha above that the short conidiophores are formed the structure is different here but this is the way the acervulus forms the conidiophores conidiospores or conidia so like this the conidia are produced in the acervulus and i would like to explain one word that is the sorus i hope you have heard about the sorus in the smarts and all say a little heap of this porangia heap means uh, what we can say like a heap a group of porangia or spores either they are naked or covered by a thin membrane then a uh, thin or false membrane then it is a sorus if it is covered by a false membrane or a thin membrane it belongs to smuts otherwise if the little heap of sporangia spore is covered by epidermis then it is of rust or blisters 
remember if these pores are covered by a false or thin membrane then it is the smuts if it is covered by epidermis then it is either by blisters or rust now we shall begin with the sexual fruiting bodies among sexual fruiting bodies there are very four major one uh, the very first is pycnium see this pycnium is very similar to pycnidium what we see in a sexual uh, fruiting body and it's also flash shaped the mouth is osteol and it is produced by uninucleate mycelium growing in the tissue of the host primary uninucleate one uh, means the uninucleate mycelium that is primarily growing in the host will be uh, connected to pycnidium and it is flash shaped the mouth is lined by periphysis see this will be the cluster similar to the what we are seeing pycnidium and this mouth will contain a uh, structures called as periphysis they will help the help them to rupture the host and get into the uh, cells and next comes the asium see asium is similar to this structure but it is reverse means it is turned downwards just like this the spores are formed like here and spores are been released like this this is asium this is typically a dicary a group of dicaryotic cells and peridium is the wall that surrounds this asium the next fruiting body is ascocarp the ascocarp bears the spores asine the fruiting bodies that contains asine and ascospores or called as ascocarp and there are four types of categories that base the ascospores and asci and among those very first is clistrothecium clistrothecium let's see the meaning of the word clistros means closed theke means case a closed case see it will be closed ascocarp there is no opening there is no ostiole and provided with the appendages this closed has some appendages on its body i am showing the images here look into it the discharge of this pore is very violent because as they are closed one they have to open at maturity right so to open at maturity they get swelled when they get swelling increases there will be a violent discharge of the spores that have that takes place in the clistrothecium in the ascocarp the next one is perithecium we have seen clistrothecium now perithecium see this perithecium peri means around it's also a flash shaped and it has a narrow ostiole please look into the image i am showing now and it is arranged in a regular manner means inside the wall inside the flash shape they are arranged in a regular manner in the perithecium and in between these pores there are a uh, sterile filaments they are called as paraphyses and that's about the perithecium now about the apothecium apotheca means a storehouse see it is open a cup or a saucer shaped one it will be like this the upper surface so there it bears the asci and uh, within that asci there will be ascospores and in this structure in the apothecium there are three parts the upper one upper open surface consists of a hymenium above which the asci are formed and just below this hymenium there is another structure that is the hypothecium below that hypothecium there is a, a fleshy part that is the exapulum this is all about the apothecium the last one among the ascocarp are the sodothecium and this sodothecium also has a flash shaped ascocarp it also has a ostiole flask one but remember the main difference is the asci are directly formed in the cavity they are directly formed in the cavity there will be no specialized structures of fruiting structures and this condition is called as sodothecium structure and the very next in the fourth one in the sexual fruiting bodies is the basidiocarp in the previous video 
I have explained in detail about the basidiospore, basidium and how it is formed. Please refer to that video. Now I will just explain the function that is it bases basidia and uh, basidiospores and the spores are exogenously formed means they are not inside they are outside the fruiting body and the most fungi in the basidium mycota except rust and smut all others form this basidio car. By this, uh, in this video, I hope you have enjoyed uh, the series of these fungi. Please do watch and share with your friends. And I will come with uh, another new important lecture in the next week. Thank you.